Hey everyone, uh, this is Matt from uh, University of Manchester Sport and uh, today I will take you through the upper body um, dumbbell workout. Yeah, so for this class uh, you're going to need some equipment, yeah, so you're going to need some dumbbell, uh, dumbbells, uh, you're going to need an exercise mat and ideally the bench, yeah. If you don't have a bench or a chair, don't worry, uh, some of the exercises you'll be able to do it on the floor on the exercise mat, yeah, so don't worry about that. Uh, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be starting with a quick warm up and uh, then I'm going to take you through the, the, the main session then we would say cool down, yeah? So, just for the warm up, all I want you to do on there, just gonna start nice and easy, yeah? And just make myself some space. And um, so what we do on the warm up, just some uh, stretches and some dynamic stretches as well, yeah? So we're just warming up that upper body, especially shoulders, chest, and arms as well, yeah? So we're just gonna have chest flies on that, then hold it there. Give it a nice stretch now for 10 seconds. It. and move into some shoulder rolls on there again all we're doing is just getting yourself nice and ready getting yourself warmed up and getting them joints and muscles ready yeah so we don't want to go moving straight into heavy lifting or any type of lifting without a good warm-up and some mobilization work yeah to the back and just some this mobilization stretches yeah so making sure again especially when doing a Dumbbell workout, we want to avoid any of the wrist injuries, yeah? So if you're on there, nice and easy. Give it a good stretch for me, like I'm doing now. And take it back, so first stretch. So all we're doing today, we're going to be a mixture. So we're going to be starting with some chest exercises, uh, moving to shoulders, arms, and finish off with, the, with back, yeah? The whole session is probably going to last between 20 to 25 minutes, yeah? So not so long one today. Take it back to the shoulder once, shoulder exercises. I'm going to explain the first two exercises in a second, which you're going to be able to do either on the bench or on the floor. Today I'll be doing them on the bench, but I will uh, again. I'll explain how we can do it on the floor, so don't worry about that if you don't have a bench. On there, easy. And uh, rest, yeah? Right, so all we're going to do on the first one, we've got a super set, yeah? So what, what it means, we've got two exercises back to back. So watch what I'm doing first, then we're gonna get started. For this exercise, we're gonna be doing three sets, eight to 12 reps, yeah? So anywhere between eight to 12 repetitions is fine. And um, again, I'm, I'm aware that some people might be limited to, uh, again, different weights again. Uh, you might not have that many weights at home. So on this one, you just wanna make sure you go with the weight that you feel comfortable on that chest press, yeah? So we've got chest press, we're going to hex press. So both working on the shoulders and chest, yeah, primarily your chest. So all you're gonna do on there, Start in position, like I'm doing now. Drive to the top, slide in your elbows, go down, nice and low. And when you drive to the top, so control your way down, two seconds down, one, two, drive up quick, control your way down, and big drive, yes? That's your first one. After you've done eight to 12 reps, all I'm gonna get you to do, uh, do most together, go down, and drive up. Control your way down, and drive up. So just a variation of the dumbbell press, yeah? This is a good one for your chest. So all we're gonna do in a second, once you, once you got uh, set up, we're gonna do a dumbbell press, chest press, um, eight to 12 reps, moving straight to hex press, then we're gonna get 30 seconds rest, yeah? We're gonna repeat it three times before we're gonna move into shoulder exercises, yeah? So whenever you're ready, I'm gonna get you to set up, yeah? Again, if you don't have a bench, as I said before, you can do, the, do those exercises on the floor, yeah? Which might not be as comfortable, but you're still gonna be able to do it effectively, yeah? So get yourself set up on there. Starting with 8 to 12 reps, control your way down, big drive up. Check, uh, back is on the mat or on the bench, yeah? Control that movement, making sure you're squeezing that chest on the top. Two more reps. One more, perfect. And move to hex press. Down and drive to the top. Depending on what type of dumbbells you have, mine are not too good. Uh, you just want to make sure they not slip out of your hands when you're keeping them together, yeah? So keep pushing there. I've got two more reps. One more rep. And just recover. So you can put those dumbbells safely on the floor. Grab yourself a drink. I'm gonna rest for 30 seconds before we move into the next one, yeah? So the second round. Again, feel free if you've got a, a luxury uh, of having different weights, uh, you can, again, make this a bit heavier if you find it too easy or make it a bit harder. Um, sorry, make it a bit easier uh, by going a bit lighter, yeah? Yeah, up to you. You just go with that weight, making sure that weight that you're doing is safe 
uh, for you to lift, yeah? So second set, exactly the same. Eight to 12 reps, get yourself ready. We're moving, let's go. So eight to 12 again, control that movement. We're focusing on form today. So we're not focusing on getting as heavy as you can. That's the strength training, yeah? Today is more of a hypertrophy training, which is the muscle building. Two more uh, reps, one more. Take it to the hex press now. Drive, slowing it down, big drive to the top quick, yeah? Nice. I've got three more reps. Two more reps. One more big one. And go top your weight down. Put those dumbbells down, yeah? Safely. So this was the second round. Hopefully you are managing okay with that weight. And again, the more sets you do, the more exercise you do, you're gonna feel more fatigued, yeah. So very important to keeping that form spot on. Uh, any time that you feel that form is going a bit funny, um, I would recommend to drop the weight or have a bit more rest if you need it. So all I'm gonna get you to do, do, it, do one more set on there, exactly the same super set. After that, we're gonna move it to uh, some shoulder exercises on the floor, yeah? So, get yourself set up on there, get the dumbbells ready. We're going again. Eight to 12 reps, ready, let's go. So big. Super set now again for the chest. That form is staying good. Two more reps, perfect. One more, smash it and express all the way down. Drive to the top, down and drive up. So focusing slow on your way down and powerful explosive movement to the top. Two more reps. Start feeling your chest. One more and recover now so we're gonna have a bit of a longer rest now just so i can show you what we're doing next yeah so what we're going to do in the next one i'm going to move my bench out to make myself some space and all we're going to do in the next one next two exercises we have seated dumbbell press shoulder press and side raises seated as well yeah so all i'm going to get you to do on there start in this position there so just slide move your shoulders drive into the top slide Bend the elbows, control your way down, and drive up. Like this, yeah, very important to keep your straight back and strong core. So this is a bit, a bit harder, I find it a bit harder than you were doing on the bench, yeah? So feel free to go a bit lighter if you're struggling, yeah? If that's the first time you're doing it. Then all you're gonna do on the second one, you're gonna do a move it to side raises, seated side raises, yeah? Starting position there. Just make sure you've got space on that. One. So, so as you can see, I've got slide bending my elbows, moving to the side. I'm going level with my shoulders, so I'm not going above my shoulders on there. So those are two exercises we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing in a superset format again. So it's going to be shoulder press, back to back with the side raises. We're going to do eight to 12 reps on each. Uh, each set, you're going to do three times again. In about 10 seconds, I'm going to get you going. So first one, shoulder press, I build a hard one, then move it straight to side raises. A shoulder press, mainly working your front deltoids and side uh, of your deltas a little bit, and side delts, uh, side raises, mainly working the side of your delts, yeah? So you wanna get yourself ready, get yourself set up on there. Whenever you're ready, eight to 12 reps, just focus on that form. Down, drive up to the top, hopefully you can see me okay on there, I'm just gonna get a bit lower. Down, control that movement. And very important not to fully Straighten your arms on the top, yeah? So just make sure you have a slight bend in your elbows. Down. That's the first one done. Move it straight to side raises. This is a bit of a tough one. You might need to drop the weight if it's a bit too heavy for you. So all about keeping it straight back, trying not to swing forward or backwards, yeah? This is a tough one, especially on the second and third set, we're gonna start feeling it. So one more rep on there and drop them dumbbells, have a rest, have a drink. So that was the first round. Again, as I said, you might, if you've got another set of dumbbells, you might go a bit lighter on the side bends, yeah, on the side raises. Uh, this is a tough one. So you should be going a bit heavier on the shoulder press. Again, I don't have that much choice with my dumbbells, yeah, unfortunately, uh, so I can't really play with that. All we're gonna do on the second round, again, eight to 12 reps, uh, in the same order, same two exercises, yeah? So just work hard on them shoulders, guys. Get yourself ready. Three, two, one. We're moving again, yeah? So get yourself set up. Make sure you're comfortable. On a straight back. 
core nice and tight, control that breathing as well. So we're not rushing them reps, really trying to get that form spot on like I'm doing now. Drives to the top, I've got two more reps on there. This is a bit of a tough one. One more, and moving straight to side raises. So get yourself just set up, making sure there's nothing on your, on your weight, in your way. Two, nice and straight position. Three, I'm gonna probably get eight reps on that one. Keep pushing. Two more, and one more, and rest. So you're probably gonna start feeling every round you're doing is feeling a bit harder, yeah? So if you, let's say, start on the first round, 12 reps, on the second one, you might find out you can only do 10 reps, on the last one, eight reps, yeah? But again, everyone's different, yeah? We might we'll probably have some stronger people than other people, yeah? So don't worry uh, if you have to drop the weight or drop the reps, yeah, that's completely fine. Uh, all you wanna make sure, keeping that spot on form, yeah, for me. So all we're gonna do now, I'm going to do one more time, then I'm going to move into some arm exercises, then back to finish it off, yeah? So whenever you're ready, get yourself set up on there. In three, two, one, we're off again. I'm trying to lay down, big drive. Again, if you don't like this position, if it's a bit too heavy on your lower back, feel free to use the chair or a bench, yeah? That's completely fine. I've got one more rep. That's it, perfect right? And we're just gonna move it to side raises. Three, four, halfway there. Getting a bit tough now. Six, seven, and eight. And rest now, yeah? Right, so we're halfway there for our two-day sessions, yeah? Hopefully you're managing okay. It's gonna give you a bit more rest now before I move into the exercise um, number five. Yeah, so we've done four exercises so far. We're gonna have exercise for the arms now. It's gonna be number five and number six, yeah? We've got bicep curls, moving to tricep extension, yeah? So all you're gonna do on there, keep it nice and straight back. Drive to the top like I'm doing now. So as you can see, I've got my elbows nice and close to your, to your body. Control your way down, fully extend your arms and drive to the top. So this is your first one. Second one, all I want you to do on there is grab your dumbbell. If you feel it's comfortable, keep it like this and push to the top. So try some extension. So as you can see, my elbows are staying in the same position. All I'm doing, extending them arms to the top and controlling your way down. Yeah, so we've got try some extension. And bicep curls, yeah. Bicep curls first, tricep extension, second one. And we're going to do exactly the same. So, we're going to have eight to 12 reps um, on each exercise. So, we're three times with above and rest in between, yeah. Again, feel free to adjust that weight if you can. Um, you're probably going to go a bit lighter on your biceps, yeah. I'm just going to stick with the same weight uh, for now, yeah. Get yourself ready. Eight to 12 reps in three, two, one. Let's go. It's all about keeping the elbows nice and close to your body, fully extending on your way out, and then drive to the top. Again, if you don't find this position comfortable, feel free to use the bench or you can do it standing, yeah? This is just a, one of the options that you can do, yeah? Go one more rep, and drop one of the dumbbells. And on this one, very important, so just take your time with setting up and making sure Obviously, you're not dropping down on your head, yeah? <laughs> so, control your way down, drive up. I'm just going to show you how it looks from a bit behind. Hope you can see me okay on there. So, again, fully extend your arms, control your way down, try and get that form spot on. I've got three more reps. Perfect. Two more. And just one more. And rest, yeah? So, just safely put that dumbbell on the floor and rest for 30 seconds. Have a drink as well if you need one, and we're gonna move it straight to second round in a second. So, all about keeping that sport on position, straight back, and working them arms, really squeezing them on the top, yeah? We go down, slow, drive up to the top quick, squeezing them biceps for me, yeah? Okay, so ready, gonna get going in three, two, and one. Same again, all the way to the top, drive down, Keeping the core tight and straight back, so making sure you're not starting using your back, you're not starting swinging forwards or backwards when you start struggling. 
two more reps. That's it. One more. And I'm gonna get myself set up. Again, take your time if you need to set up that tricep press, yeah? So just take your time. Again, we're not, we're not rushing through this session. We're keeping it at medium intensity, yeah? So it's all about keeping a good technique and making sure that weight is a bit challenging for you, yeah? Keep pushing for three, two, just one more rep. One, and drop on the floor, yeah? Well, put it safely on the floor, that's what I meant to say. Uh, right, so what we've done now, that was the second round on the bi uh, bicep and triceps. All we're gonna do now, we'll do one more time, uh, which is gonna be third round, then we'll do back exercise and a quick stretch to finish it off, yeah? So, we we'll slowly get in there, slowly get in there. Again, feel free, if you, if you find this session a bit too easy, um, my recommendation to make it harder will be add more sets on there, add more reps if you can, and add more weight, yeah? If you find this a bit too easy, uh, sorry, I mean too hard, all you can do, just take the reps out a bit lower and uh, lessen your weight, yeah? So decrease your weight. So you just got a good, um, good few options there to play with, yeah? We're gonna get ready again. We're gonna go with the bicep curls. Eight to 12 reps. Right, keep pushing there. Get some more reps on there. Start feeling the biceps now. Start a bit burning, which is what you want, yeah? If you're not feeling it, that means that weight is probably a bit too light or you might not be doing it right, yeah? So just make sure you watch that technique carefully whilst I'm doing this exercise. Keep pushing there. Now just spread back if you can, chest lifted. I've got two more reps. I'm just gonna get one more and rest. And I'm just gonna have a quick drink now, short rest. And all we're gonna do on that one, on the last one, we just got some back rows using two dumbbells. And um, so we're gonna move into uh, just a quick exercise for your back and real shoulders, yeah? And um, on this one, it's very important to get your form spot on, yeah? This is not the easiest exercise, so just watch myself as I'm doing it. Hopefully you can see me okay from the side, yeah? So you're slamming your elbow, you're leaning forward a bit, sticking your bum out. And when you're taking your elbows in, squeezing the shoulder blades, controlling your way out. So very important not to lean, uh, not to lean forward like that, so not uh, humping your back too much because you're going to put too much pressure in your lower back, uh, which again, we want to avoid any injuries in this session. So all we're going to do on there, we're going to do three sets, eight to 12 reps, um, medium weight if you can, yeah? After that, we're just going to move it to stretch and finish off uh, our session with the easy cool down, yeah? So whenever you're ready guys, get yourself set up here. Yeah? So take your time setting up that position. Sliding forward, sliding your knees and big squeeze. So control your way down, big drive up. So really focus on squeezing them shoulders, squeezing them back. I've got three more reps on there. Two and one. And that's the first set done, yeah, nice and easy. Um, we're gonna do it again, so we're just gonna have a short rest on this one. Go at it again uh, in a few seconds. Right, let's keep that rest minimal if you can, unless you need a bit longer, yeah? So let me just go from this side, sliding forward again, making sure that form is staying spot on. Eight to 12 reps, set number two, yeah? Push a big squeeze, one more rep, and rest. Right, have a quick rest now for a drink. Get ready for a last one for today, yeah? Before we move to cool down and a stretch. Again, feel free to adjust that way, make it easier, harder, uh, see how you feel, yeah? Again, if that's the first exercise you're doing, uh, so if that's the first time you're doing this exercise, I just recommend to go light and uh, just get used to that form, yeah? It might take you two or three goals to get that form spot on, yeah? It's not the easiest exercise. So all about making sure you're not leaning forward too much, you're not putting too much pressure in your lower back, yeah? Get ready, get ready team. Three, two, and one. Let's go again. Big rows. Control that movement on your way down and power on your way to the top. I've got three more reps. 
two more reps, and one, and put them dumbbells on the floor safely, and have a quick rest before moving to the last bit of today, which is the cool down. So the easiest bit, yeah. Uh, get ready now to uh, just give you a good stretch. Start with the shoulder stretch. Opposite side. Same, I'm just doing a warm up chest stretch. So hopefully, if you enjoyed this uh, class, yeah, I appreciate it if you can drop in the comments, see what you liked, what you've not liked. Again, this is the first dumbbell workout I've done when it comes to upper body. Um, so again, if there's anything that I can improve on, uh, I appreciate your feedback. If you really enjoyed it, yeah, that's good. Uh, I'm glad. But if not, don't be afraid to uh, drop a comment on there. We're moving to the tricep stretch. Again, if you uh, if you want to join me as well in the high intensity training, uh, I do this class on Tuesday. It's half twelve on the Instagram live on the University of Manchester Sport Instagram. Yeah, I also do one on Thursdays at half twelve, which is core based class. Yeah. So feel free to join myself. If you're not able to join at that time due to work or studies, uh, you can find all the videos on the UM Sport YouTube channel. Yeah. Just shake off your arms on there. And we'll be finishing it off now for this class, yeah? So thank you a lot for joining me and watching this class. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, any problems, uh, any feedback, feel free to uh, drop a comment, yeah? I'll be seeing you soon. Thank you.